The New York State Legislature held its second and last scheduled virtual hearing today on COVID-19 and residential health care facilities. News Channel 34's Karina Capabianca has more on what those in the field say have been big challenges during the pandemic and what others are still looking to get answers on. The asymptomatic spread and the lack of testing were the most significant key factors in our facilities. Stephen Hance with the New York State Health Facilities Association and the New York State Center for Assisted Living says at the height of the pandemic, nursing homes also faced shortages of PPE. Nursing homes in April uh, in one of the uh, busier weeks were going through 12 million pieces of PPE per week. Hans says rural facilities have seemed to have felt the weight of PPE and staff shortages more than urban ones. We have in rural counties significant tremendous staffing shortages. CNAs and LPNs, what we have seen and we saw this prior to the pandemic were that LPNs who, who traditionally had worked in nursing homes were beginning to work more and more in hospitals because hospitals given their reimbursement rate can always financially pay more. According to a report put out by the State Department of Health, there have been about 6,400 nursing home deaths. But if a nursing home resident dies due to COVID in a hospital, they're not counted as a nursing home death. That information was sought by lawmakers at last week's hearing from the state health commissioner. The commissioner said he would share that information with lawmakers after he was able to look through it. Today, the commissioner was a no-show. I will join my colleagues in my disappointment that uh, Commissioner Zucker has not been recalled uh, to complete his testimony that he was woefully unprepared for uh, last Monday. Republicans continue to push for an independent investigation or an outside body with subpoena power to study the issue of nursing home deaths in the state. In Albany, Karina Capabianca.